Today I want to go over how you can enable developer mode on the Lenovo Duet Chromebook. Now there are plenty of videos out there that currently go over how you can enable developer mode on a traditional laptop style Chromebook. I myself even made a version of this in, in my video demonstrating how you can get a dual boot setup going on the Asus C302 Chromebook. The thing is though, the Lenovo Duet is a little different from those traditional laptop style Chromebooks in that it's actually a Chrome OS tablet with a detachable keyboard. And that means that the steps or, or the process of enabling developer mode on this thing is a little bit different than how, you, than how you might do it on a more traditional style Chromebook. Since there don't seem to be a whole lot of YouTube videos out there that actually go over this process of enabling developer mode on the Lenovo Duet and other Chrome OS tablets, I thought I'll make this video today. As a quick reminder and a warning, enabling developer mode on the Lenovo Duet or really with any Chromebook for that matter involves uh, power washing or factory resetting the Chromebook itself meaning that any data or, or account setup that you currently have on your Chromebook will get erased in the process of enabling developer mode. So before going through with this process of enabling developer mode, make sure to back up any important files that you currently have on the Lenovo Duet. The first step in enabling developer mode on the Lenovo Duet is quite simple. It involves powering off the Lenovo Duet. Now, there are certain guides out there on how you can enable developer mode on Chrome OS tablets that suggest that you don't necessarily need to turn off the device first to go through this process, but I haven't been able to get you know, the enabling of developer mode process going uh, without first turning off the Lenovo Duet. Your experience may vary, but you know, I'm not gonna share with you something that I, that I personally haven't been able to get working. So first step, power off the device. Once you can confirm that the Duet has been turned off, simultaneously hold down the volume buttons and the power button on the device for about five seconds or so. Make sure to release the buttons after those few seconds. If you are successful here, you'll get to a screen that says, please insert a recovery USB stick. Now this process of holding down the volume buttons and the power button at once is not an easy one. Um, it may take you a few tries to actually get get it to work properly. When I was trying it at first, it would just not get me to that, please insert a USB stick screen. It would just continuously boot up like normal and it was very frustrating, but there is a trick to it and it might take a few tries to get there. If it's any comfort, this step is probably the hardest step in enabling developer mode on the Lenovo Duet or any Chrome OS tablet. So good luck once you get past it, you know, things get pretty easy. To get past the please insert or recover USB stick screen, simultaneously hold down the volume buttons this will lead to a mini screen of sorts with a few different options. This mini can be navigated with the volume buttons and the power button. Since we want to disable OS verification to enable developer mode, we're going to select this option in the menu. This will lead to a quick reboot of sorts. Once the reboot is done, this slightly different menu from before will pop up. Navigate to the top of this menu and select developer options. This in turn will lead to a screen that looks a bit like this. There are a few different options here, but select boot from internal disk here. This in turn will lead to a transition screen that looks like this. The Chrome OS tablet will stay on the screen for a few minutes as the system transitions itself into developer mode. Once this transition process is done, the Lenovo Duet will reboot and will once again be met by this screen. Like we did previously, navigate to the top and select developer options. Then on the next screen, select boot from the internal disk. From there, the Lenovo Duet will boot into Chrome OS. As long as you have developer mode enabled, you'll be greeted by that menu selection screen whenever you power on the Duet, and you'll have to go through the aforementioned selection process to simply boot into Chrome OS. It's a bit annoying having to do this every single time you boot up the Lenovo Duet, but that is the cost of you know, having developer mode enabled. Anyway, that's how you enable developer mode on the Lenovo Duet. If you want to disable developer mode on the Lenovo Duet, you have to simply select enable OS verification on the menu screen. Like with the process of enabling developer mode though, uh, the process of disabling developer mode also includes a step that will power wash or factory reset the device. So make sure to back up any important personal files from the Duet or whatever Chrome OS tablet that you're doing this with prior to disabling developer mode. Now I use the Lenovo Duet here as a way to demonstrate these steps in this particular video, but the process of enabling developer mode should be the same for any Chrome OS tablet that's currently out there. And I suspect that this process will pretty much stay the same for Chrome OS tablets that will come out in any near future. If this video was useful to you in some way, shape or form, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more Chrome OS related tutorials or tech reviews and other things, make sure to subscribe to the Octillion's Tech YouTube channel.